Hi, Salman from Tax Advisory here with another explainer video. This time we'll be looking at capital gains tax and the main residence exemption. Vivian, this one's for you. So, why is this topic important? Well, as you're probably aware, the housing market in Australia is ridiculous. Houses are being bought and sold by owners and investors for huge profits. Knowing how the rules work could save you overpaying thousands in tax. To start off with, what is a capital gain? A capital gain, in simple terms, is the profit you make on the sale of a capital asset such as a house. So if you buy a house for 500000 and sell it for 600000 you make a capital gain of 100000 and have to pay tax on that gain. However, as always, there are several exemptions and discounts to this rule. One such exemption is commonly known as the main residence exemption. Under this exemption, if the house that you are selling was your primary place of residence for the whole period that you owned it, there is no assessable capital gain. An individual is only allowed to have one primary place of residence at a time. This keeps people from nominating investment properties as their main residence. But what if the house isn't your main residence for the whole time that you own it? This is where it gets a little bit complicated. If you buy a house for 500000 as an investment property and then rent it out for three years and then move in yourself after two years before selling it for 600000 you can only claim the main residence exemption for the period that you lived in the house as your main residence. That is, of the $100,000 capital gain that you made, you have to pay tax on 60000 and 40000 is tax-free. You may have also heard of the six-year rule, which goes as follows. Say you buy a property and move into it as soon as practicable. It becomes your main residence. Down the line, you move out for one of several reasons allowed by the ATO, but do not claim another house as your main residence. You can rent out your main residence for up to six years and still claim the main residence exemption when you sell it. Even better, after six years, you can still move in again and then move out and the clock will restart for another six years. As always, we've tried to simplify a complicated concept in a two-minute video. Things aren't always this simple, so if you have any questions, get in touch with us. We are Tact Advisory.